Uh, very good morning, South Africa. Baie goeie morgen, South Africa. Uh, and a very, very hearty Mulweni Mzanzi. Uh, this morning, my apology. We have been having uh, a lot of rain. So, uh, welcome from a very wet and rainy Cape Town today. I think all the people have our We need water. Uh, so, uh, we are not complaining. Uh, to everybody, again, welcome. This is our usual Wednesday 9 o'clock slot, uh, where no matter where you are, in your car, in your farm, in your home, your office, your kitchen, it is always a privilege uh, for me to be able to join you every Wednesday, 9 o'clock South African time, to speak to you about updates, to speak to you about where we are as the United Independent Movement, uh, the party that's growing. Uh, we also want to discuss some issues um, and update you on where we are going. Dames en heren, for my baie, baie verblijdend altijd op my hart dat ek neeg hier elke ochend woensdag, maak nie saak waar ek is in die wereld nie, om met u te kan praat wat ook al u is. Dit is vir my altijd de eer om te kan deel met u wat op my hart le om met u te kan praat waar u partij die UIM nou staan en waar ons wil wees. Daar is een paar goed wat baie belangrijk is vandag, wat ek met u wil bespreek en wat ek wil u vraag om asjeblief uit te vat. There are a couple of very important issues today that I'd like you as the United Independent Movement Party, doesn't that sound good, um, to take cognizance of and to take it out to the people that you meet and that you speak to on a daily basis. Uh, these are very important issues, and this is from the presidency myself as to exactly where we stand on these issues. I am going to today, after 9.30, when we go through our submission to open up for some questions. And I would like to take questions on any matter. So, vraag beantwoord vandag wat jy hieronder kan tik, maar net nie, nou nie. I'd like you to please Keep your questions to me, because I'd like to answer them. Uh, we are having our staff monitor here today to post, for instance, our banking details, our connection details, our national WhatsApp number, and to ensure that you are fully aware of how to get hold of us and that there is currently no excuse. I want to thank our CEO and incumbent SG of the UIM, Jack Taliar, for a great submission last night on his live. We are currently changing those time slots as to ensure that everybody in the week has got a morning time slot and we have noticed that in the morning it is better timing for everybody. So from Monday, next week, but we will clear that on a public broadcast, but as of Monday next week, 9 o'clock, we will start with our Youth Alliance broadcast. A member from our Youth Alliance will then come up Monday 9 o'clock to discuss the growth and the fantastic launching of our Youth Alliance. Tuesdays will now 9 o'clock be the slot of our CEO, Jock Taliat. On Wednesday morning, 9 o'clock, like today, it will be the president's slot. Then on Thursday morning, 9 o'clock, we are now going to allow our vice president, Fatima Abdul, <clears throat> on Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. And then on Fridays, we will be having Brett Courier, who will be every Friday, 9 o'clock, updating us on the IEC election process, our ward candidates, etc. So that is starting to fold into a very good mix. That sal ons toelaat om elke week, elke maandag tot vrijdag u te kan update op alles wat aangaan. So that is a time slot that we'll put on a banner today and we will tell you exactly who is speaking, but Monday's Youth Alliance, Tuesday CEO, Wednesday's President, Thursday's Vice President, and Friday's our election update. So I hope that everybody can look forward to this. I, I wanted to also share with you today 
a very clear statement that the UIM is now a political party. I know that in the week we've again been rubbished and been told by little children that what we are saying that the UIM is not registered. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. And I have said to my staff, we must stop validating and, and entertaining people that are here to just cause division, speak utter rubbish and continually fight the light that the UIM is bringing. I will take exception to anybody whom says that the UIM spreads absolutely falsehoods because that is the reason we entered politics, is to end lies. I am emphatic about it. And I can tell you today, I had this printed out, if you go today on the official website of the IEC, which you can find, I would like to show you that we are listed currently as of last week on the IEC website as a political party. There we are. And this is history for us. So if you go on the website of the IEC, I will ask my staff just to put that website address of the IEC up here. I'd like you to go look and proudly see the UIM emblem now on the official IEC website. And to everybody, thank you very much for doing that. For die mense wat kinderachtig en nog steeds sikkel met jou IKA, ons sal dit vir jou maar WhatsApp en miskien op een wit bord teken. I think that matter is now addressed. South Africa, now that we are a political party, many things have changed. I want to take you back to the people that were here originally when we said that we would like to enter politics as a voice. We entered as a movement after I made a statement of saying that we are sincerely hurtful. Nice Afrikaans word that we are absolutely annoyed and that hope, the trust, the forward anger in this country was building up against the government and specifically the ANC in ons klein jelly tot frinkies, the EFF. As a citizen of this country, a normal citizen, irrespective if I was at that stage a voting member of the ANC, if I was uh, supporting a structure which I thought would bring upon the so-called Rainbow Nation. And finally realized it's not going to happen because of the greed, the lie and the emphatic stealing of our structural money and the degradation of infrastructure in this republic. Ek wil het baie duidelik maak, dat op hierdie oomlik is ons een groep mense, nou een baie groep mense, en teendeel duisende mense, ek kan hy woord sê duisende, jy sien, oor een duisend, kan jy, kan jy sê, jy het duisende, weer eens vir die mense, wat kinderachtig, en wat op kleed is kool, seker die raampies nou nog steeds gebruik. Ek tel op my vingers, Maar daar is een groot verskil tussen die conditie van jou IK, jou EQ en jou IQ en ek praat maar vir die mense wat herhaaldelik ons aanval stadig. The UIM has certain principles, South Africa. The UIM has certain ingraded principles. And those principles, conditions will never change. Now, the banner that was made today was <clears throat> very clear. You can try and stop us. You can try with devious manner to halt us. You can try and buy us out. You can try like other people have tried to do in the past two weeks, form coalitions so that you can stop us or you can degrade and attack us. I'm here to tell you today, in God's light, you will not stop the UIM. In God's light, gaan jylle dit nie recht kry nie. Not the jelly tart boy, Julius Fricky Malema, who has now suddenly realized 
there's something called the UIM, a year later, skrik frikkie wakker. A year later, suddenly, the EFF has now woken up to the fact that the shining light of the UIM was not a mood, was not a hissy fit or a tantrum. We are coming for you. I want to put it clear. Julius Malema, your threats, your absolute absurdness and your stupidity is now going to cause your downfall. Because a year ago you said, when it was said that Neil De Beer has left the ANC and will now fight for justice, your spokesperson said the UIM and Neil De Beer is an insignificant group that has a romance to go into politics. Now, where my moi, Fricky? Good morning. I am the president now of the United Independent Movement Party. And now that we're a political party, we are going to square off, me and you. Now, I will send out now a public new approach and invite Julius. I can now, as the president of the United Independent Movement Party, again invite Julius Cello Akasafriki Malema to an open debate on any channel, any platform, any area, any venue, any time, any day. You must come for your <laughs> hiding, Julius. Stay at your Paksakrai, and I'm going to give it to you. Now, no letter, no charges, no attack seems to work on you because not even the speaker, the office of the speaker and parliament would allow me to deliver a letter to submit that you will and must be disciplined in parliament and suspended you. Now, the UIM does not have an infatuation a current thing where we wake up every morning and think Julius. No, 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 no. We are not interested. We also don't want to give you the absolute mindset that you matter. The EFF does not matter. They are an empty vessel. They are a bunch of children. They are narcissistic. They are nationalistic and fascists and racist. So I'm saying, yalla pak gaan kom. So, so South Africa, listen, when you write to me and ask me, where's my letter against Julius? Where's my attack? It doesn't matter because it's just being postponed because he's being protected. Now, when you are protected by state, there can be no other submission. It is my opinion, not a fact. That seemingly, this man is Teflon. He's coated like Teflon. Now, in front of God, justice and the constitution of this republic, you, Julius, you, Floyd Shavambu, and you, Dr. Dr. Ndlozi, you are touchable. You are touchable. Because you, and I'm saying it publicly now, you are not bigger than this country's law. Now you are getting away bit by bit, but I'm telling you there's a plan here. In this head office, a very strategic, organized intellectual plan to slowly but does a Pac-Man, eh? Pac-Man. I'm going to come and chomp you, but you are running. Now, you are playing Marco Polo in a swimming pool, Julius. But your swimming pool is in front of Oblast Klein Swimbikes, Julius. And you can only play that game for another couple of weeks. Want jy gaat absoluut in a hoekie gedruk word. Now, I'm saying to South Africa, give time. Be patient. Jy druk nie a avocado right nie. Jy waag. 
So I want to make that clear because again, I'm being asked, what is my current tactic of the UIM against EFF? It is very clear. Los ons uit, ons gaat vir hulle neek. Don't worry about it. But if the Freedom Front plus, minus and equals, the DA, but daar sit, the ANC can't complain because they are the EFF's political wing. The EFF, COP, uh, IFP, al hierdie gemors. Hulle is gemors. Can't squeeze, annihilate, or have the EFF kicked out. That's pathetic. Nee, South Africa hoor my. Nie een politieke partij in die parlement van die republiek het die, het die, het die koukenats om hierdie etter op sy hel te gee nie. Maar ek het. Ek het. Want hy gaan in gebiede en hy moor. Hy praat van moord. He speaks about violence. He goes into Phoenix, into our South African Indian community and he threatens them. Now listen, threaten again. Ons het planne. En ons plan is nie dom nie. Our plan is to protect the Republic's constitution and face that red cabal. If necessary, face to face. I say it again. The defense of the citizens of this country is currently in the hands of the president of the republic that is currently duly elected but soon to be retired. 2024. Until then, we ask the police, the defense force and law enforcement, and more importantly, justice, to bloody do your job. And if you cannot, we have the constitutional right to protect ourselves. Now I'm saying, if the EFF brings 2,000, then maybe the UIM can bring five. The only difference is, those are kids that come in red overalls that is probably made in China. Ons gaan kom met kaki gespits en tekkie en jean. Maar ons is ouwe soldaten en ons is mense wat weet wat ons doen. That's the big difference. We are here for Lord order, not mayhem, chaos and burning. It is very weird that no one has been arrested for the contraventions of when the EFF breaks the DMA Act in this country. Was dit, ek soek bewijse. So it's very simple. This is not a racial thing. It can't be a racial thing because we are a non-racist, democratic, open demographic party. But what we are not going to allow is that certain citizens in this country are protected by law by breaking it. You've got to pay. If I do it, I get arrested. Now, South Africa, this is not the way that a democratic society with law and order functions. I'm going to bring it back. Now, I was told I must not attack or submit or break down the African National Congress and the EFF and, sorry, the poor DA. And I agree. Because we are not going to play like the Democratic Alliance opposition politics. I'm not going to. Die mense van hierdie land is gatvol om te hoor hoe sleg is die ANC. Hulle wil weet wat gaan ek doen. Yes? You don't need an opposition. You need a new government, South Africa. Come now. You don't need a new political party. You need a new government. Now, shocking. Shocking. And I was told today I must lay it down. I want you to go tell people this. 
It is shocking. In the past six months, on record, that I have met five political parties in this country. I have met the leaders of those political parties, some of them new and two of them old. I've met them in private talks. Private. And let me tell you, when I'm being asked by you, why am I not forming an alliance with H? Why am I not forming an alliance with M? Why am I not uh, forming an alliance with D? Why? La 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 la. Here's why. Here's why. When I said I will have a negotiation as the fastest, largest, democratic, non-racial party in this country, which we are. I said that we will form coalitions on one condition. South Africa, hear me well, I'm not going to repeat this. I will add that would buy a day like this. When I asked certain political leaders in this country who had talks with me in Cape Town, Pretoria, Gauteng and the Free State. When I was asked, because they know the UIM is coming. You'll have it. The UIM come. We went from zero to now look at us. And I will give you those stats. Like this stat that we are now a registered party. Five political leaders in this country told me when I told them I will form a pre-election coalition with you on one condition. And I gave them in writing a form, a yen blood side, Bala Mutiakan. No, 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 South Africa, hear me well. I asked those five leaders and those five parties to sign a declaration a declaration form of coalition. I asked him because you need it in writing. You see, we were born at night, not last night. Ons is in die aand gebore, maar nie gister aand nie. Because let me quickly tell you, politics is a dirt, dirty game. So I wanted it in writing. What did I ask them to sign? I asked those political parties to sign on a piece of paper that they will never, ever, ever, whilst my coalition is in place, make a power deal with the ANC or the EFF. Where am I? It says so. That we, the undersigned parties, do hereby agree to formulate a coalition on the principles of the following governance, and it goes da da da, and then it says that we, the undersigned, do hereby declare that under no circumstance in any municipal, local, provincial, or national government elections will at any time a power sharing agreement. Coalition be forged with the EFF and the ANC. It says so. And you know what they said? They won't sign it. They won't sign it. Daar sy Suid-Afrika. Daai vijf groepen, allemaal van hulle nou nationaal, het geweer om hierdie document te teken. Nou, wat beteken dit? Well, what does that mean? It means that all these political parties that are currently sitting in parliament, and two of them that are going to parliament in their opinion, are going to sit with the EFF or the, or the ANC and make a declaration to partner with them to share power. Now, how do you expect the South African citizens in this country 
to trust you when you sit with the enemy. Answer that. Antwoord daai. Hoe sit u en sê vir die Suid-Afrikaanse publiek dat jy staan vir gerechtigheid, dat jy staan vir openlikheid, dat jy staan in God en Christus in geloof en met die konstitusie en dan achteraf sit jy in vergaderings met Julius. Hoe kan jy dit doen? Hulle is die vijand van die volk, hoor my, ek sê dit, vat my hoofd toe, dan bewys ek vir jou, jy is, maar jy sal nie, want dit pas jou nie. So South Africa, here's the reality, the United Independent Movement, is now, the only movement, and now new political party, that has defined, that the ANC and the EFF draconianly are taking this country into a deep hole and we will fight it with everything we've got. It's a declaration. It is an honor pact from God, me to you, a promise I made, a vrachtige woord, wat ek gesê te gaan by julle staan, al breek dit my. Al breek het my. Maar the posters that they putting up keep Cape Town blah. But you form a coalition with the enemy. Jylle is bereid om vir die publiek te staan en lieg. Om te sê jylle soek verandering, jylle sal nie meer steel nie, jylle sal nie meer lieg nie, maar jylle sit en jylle wil nie een document teken om te sê dat amal van jylle wat op hierdie oomlik ons hier gebring het, nie met die vijand sal praat nie. That's the true South Africa. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do? Maar nou kom die mense, now the people are surprised, that Neil de Beer is willing to sit with other people that have declared that cabal the enemy. No, 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 no. You are surprised that Hein Marx of the ULA, so-called far right, sat with me. You are surprised? Yes, 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 absolute for us. No, South Africa. I will sit with anybody that is honorable, that has declared that this country needs change, and that every nation, the Afrikaner, the Zulu, the Koza, the Griqua, the Busman, the San, the Indebele, the Koza, that elke van ons nazis in hierdie land gerespecteer moet word. If you in this country agree that the South African Indian community, the South African Greek, the South African Italian, the South African Portuguese, the South African Latin American, that the South African communities in this country must be respected, defended, and represented, then I will talk to you. That's it. I will talk to you. It doesn't matter if it's the... I had a three-hour discussion with a Boere Legioen and with a great man, a gentleman called General Isaac van Seil. In actual fact, one of their senior command left so that they can have an absolute visionary discussion. And he's with us. General Christo Jonk is an NEC member of the UIM. He has a seat here. Come now, South Africa. Ons weet wie die kabaal is. Ons weet, en ek is bereid om met Hein Marx, General Isaac van Seil, Ek is bereid om met Mario Kokrel, ek is bereid om met die Koza, die Zulu, met die Suid-Afrikaanse citizens van hierdie land, is ek bereid om te sit, maar nie die ANC en die EFF nie. Die hel met dit. Hoor my, tyd my, en stier die uit. Because I have now stopped saying they are the enemy of the people, I have started to saying they are the enemy of the world. 
Maar dan wordt daar nou aan elkaar geniek. Met ekkers nieuwe wereldorde, Illuminati, wat ik niet eens kan spelen. Ik denk ik spel het zoals aluminium. In free masons, in two masons, in up masons. Mensen, jullie moeten ophouden daarmee. Want ik is bezig met de oorwisse feit. En jullie staan niet samen. Nie. Ons moet alleen trek, Republiek. We've got to start pulling a line now. In the sand. Because justice must come. Justice must come to this beautiful country. And yes, I have the right to be upset. I have the right to be emotional. I have the right to be sad when I see my country being dragged through the mud by people that are power hungry, greedy, lying, and absolutely irresponsible. I can be right. Because our current president that was duly elected, not by me, not by you, does not have an emotion. He has emotion from a cat that is on the hook track and what his eyes are now dead. That is the emotion from that old. Jelly. But every third or fourth Sunday I come and decide that I am his family. Man, I am not you. I am not your family. Because family is not your family. My fellow, we are at My fellow, what? Let me tell you. No, 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 no. Here is the live news that has been made. We are going to give you my South Africa. I am running a party of light. We've been to Phoenix, Chatsworth, KZN, Freistaat, Hakom, Western Cape. In every single province today in this country, there is a UIM member. Yeah, yeah. I just want to tell the EFF, hey, luister, it's too late, ons is nie kom buis. We came like Father Christmas, ons is dierie, ons is dierie skoos teen gekom, terwyl jy eiers bak, ons sta nou achter jou, it's too late, we are in the kitchen. Ons is nie kom buis, ons sta in die hoekje, ons kyk vir jou, ons is nou in die huis, we are in the house. Wiki, wiki, we are in the house. Ons is nou in die huis. Jy kan ons nie meer uitskopie. South Africa, we can't just be in the kitchen. We can't just stand there and look at these people take our pot of biryani. Ons poikie kos en hulle neek het op nie. Ek kan het reik, het brand. Vat oor. En die enigste manier hoe ons hierdie ding kan vat, is to vote them out. Justice is justice. For you to have order in a country, you must have law. That's why they call it law and order. Fricky. Wet in order. Want sonder wet in die achting van wet is daar geen order nie. Ons moet wet terugbring. So here's a fact. We are in the kitchen. We are here. Hoo hoo. Hello. We are the baby. Ons is hier. Jy het gaan slaap. En jy het gesê ons is wat? We are a non-entity. Hello. And this is what they said. When the disciples asked Jesus. Look at all the people. How are we going to feed these people? And he looked at them and he said take five breads and two fish an insignificant amount of food and he fed a thousand to two thousand with five breads and two fish Julius 1, 2, 3, 4, kijk daar Julius 5 en 2 and it's called the Bible so the UIM started with five and two then we became fifty and twenty and now today the five and the two fish became thousands. We became thousands. UIM, luister vir my, do you know how lekker it is to say, we are now thousands. Ons is thuis in a man. 
Listen to this. Stat, Brett, unbelievable job. Let me quickly tell you. There are 690 current ward, wards in this country. I'll say it again. Where am I? There are 690 wards in this country. So in every province, the wards that we need to stand against and take over in the kitchen, there are 690. At the beginning of this year, we wanted to contest only 172. Ek sal het weer sê, daar 690 wards, hierdie area kies, in elke municipaliteit, en ons wil dit teenstaan as die UIM. Ons teiken was 172. We wanted 172 ward councillors to contest 690 wards, but we thought, wow, we can't get there. We're not going to make it because who's the UIM? We are insignificant, remember? And we have a romance to be a political party. That's what the stupid EFF said. And we prayed. I prayed. Cindy prayed. Stephen prayed. Jacques prayed. Jesse still prayed. We're praying. And guess what? Guess what? God provided. Today, we don't have 172 uh, councillors that have volunteered. We are standing on 247. We are now on our way to take 40%. 40% of wards contesting in the local government election. This is South Africa. This is not insignificant. Do you understand? We are not going to take a quarter to challenge. We are now challenging 40% of all the wards and municipalities in this country. This is you. That is yellow. This is our God. We don't have the money. South Africa, do you understand I'm asking you to help us? And you have. Help us. You can't sit there in your home, in your office, in your business, in your family, and you cannot see that what we promised, we delivered. We told you we'll become a party. It cost us more than 300,000 rand. And you gave it to us. We raised it. People were putting in 5 grand, 10 grand, 15,000, 200 rand. And we made that cut off. Yeah, we had to put in as well. South Africa, we need your money. Because now, we are party and we're going to fight. What we spend in a month... The DA spends in a day. What we spend in a month, the ANC spends in an hour. The money is not coming in. My CEO, my staff are begging and saying, please change your debit order. Change your donation. If there's one thing you must do, it's fight with the UIM because the other people have surrendered. They've given up South Africa. Hulle het opgegeer. But you can give 85 rand a month to certain organizations in Isaida. You can give 90 rand a month to other organizations that are not even political parties that are not going to fight for you inside. But we get nothing. I can't fight this battle alone anymore. And can I give you good news? We are not asking you to donate to us today because we don't have anything. We have too much given to us by God. Isn't that good news? Is it not good news? We are not asking you to give us money because we are desperate. We are asking you today to open your pocket because we've grown too big. We can't manage anymore. Help us. Please. We can't beg for your justice. People want us to be 
everywhere. They want us in Gauteng, Limpopo, Mapumalanga, Free State. I've got to go back to Durban because the Phoenix, Chatsworth, Durban, is a Pingo community has adopted the UIM South Africa. KZN is ours because they've got beautiful people there. But we can't get there. I'm asking you directly today, and I'll keep on asking you, help us. It doesn't matter what you help us with. But if you don't, there will be nothing left. I'm asking you straight. We need money. Because if we don't, we can't fight. We can't print posters. We can't print t-shirts. We can't print masks. We can't print communication pamphlets, run our websites, and fly wherever this country has decided to take us. South Africa, the UIM has just grown to the biggest earning party in the country. We will lose that initiative if we don't get your support now. Every business in this country, if you stand in the light, if you stand for justice, and you revoke the ANC EFF cabal, you should be helping us. Because we're dying here. Yeah, you are right. I never in my life thought that we will be the biggest growing party currently in the country with more than a thousand members every month. We started with nothing. We are nearly on 8,000 members. My Facebook now is on 61,000 followers. <clears throat> the, last, the last video I did, 1.279 thousand. One and a half million people watched us. South Africa, if one and a half million people see this message <clears throat> and we take them to parliament today, the reality is that we are the fourth largest party in the parliament. I want you to sink that in, South Africa. The EFF got 1.8 million votes. They are the third largest. They cabal, they fiestelijke klompgoed sit op hierdie oomlik in die parlement, want hulle het net 1.8 miljoen stemme gekry. Hoor my, look at that stat. This rebellion bunch of children who color code themselves in an overall, that's the right thing. Jy moet die overall dra, Julius. I think you are now used to the overall, Julius. You are now used to the, the overall now. It fits nice. Now we must just change the color. Orange. I personally think you would look stunning in orange. And we'll get there. To the ANC, they got 10 million votes. South Africa, listen to me. This is why I'm here. I'm here because I've got an unbelievable team outside here that are working for you. They're working for you. 12 staff every single month are being paid by you and by me. And half of them can't get paid because they're voluntary. We need your help because we are coming into the kitchen and we are moving to the lounge and then we'll go into the TV room and then gaan ons jou uit jou eie slaapkamer uit skop. Uit is jy. Jy kry nie meer nanas nie. Nee. You have been stealing, maladministrating, and wrecking our economy. You are not welcome in this country anymore. Zondo Commission, Zondo Commission, a direct message to the Deputy Chief Justice, now that we are party, we'll keep you accountable. Did you hear me? We are going to keep you accountable. Because in the last couple of days, when our honorable, I don't know, when Cyril, Suki Cyril Ramaphosa, when he was in the Zondo Commission, it sounded more like you guys are having fun. The banter, the jokes, the niceness. It seemed that you got away with it. You're not going to get away with it. We are going to keep you accountable for the more than 1 billion rand you spent on trying to find out who are the thieves. Now it's weird, you know. We want arrests. And if you don't arrest them, 
we are going to unfortunately have to take more money and we are going to force you in court. Zondo, come do your thing now, man. I've got much hope for you, Deputy Chief Justice. I think you're a man of the light. Prove it. Lock them up. South Africa, then I want to address something. My apology, I'm, I'm just getting there, about uh, COVID. I want to make it very clear that if myself as the president or Jacques Talyat, our CEO, if we do not officially put out a statement on record, then what you are hearing from all the other members is a rumor. It is an opinion and it is your constitutional right, but it is not the opinion of the UIM. I make it that very clear. As ek as the president of on CEO Jacques Talyat nie opskrif, an opinie gee van die UIM nie, dan is dit nie die amtelike stans nie. Ek wil dit baie duidelik maak. South Africa, we are very clear about COVID. We are very clear. I have lost more than 13 personal friends to COVID. We have lost dear friends. So I want to make it very clear to people that the United Independent Movement does not deny that a thing called COVID, a illness, a virus, a, a tragic pandemic has killed our people. This party has lost some of its best supporters like Calvin Bowers, Corey Wood, Daniel September, Niels Liebel. We've lost good friends, great friends, Himan Jonk. So we are not denying it. But I want to make it very clear what my vice president, in her personal opinion, has said and what is the UIM's official stance. And I think clearly in the next three days when our National Management Committee comes together in Cape Town, we will issue a very clear statement afterwards, but I'm very clear on the following. Number one, and I will say it clearly, the forcing of people in this country by law or by any other method to take the vaccine will be officially contested by the United Independent Movement. You can take that as policy. The vaccine matter is personal choice. I say it again. If you want to take the jab, or if you don't want to take the jab, is a very personal human body decision. It's your decision. But what the UIM will not allow is the government of this country to force you. I say it again, where my so that you don't come and dispute, force you by law to take a vaccine or a vaccination in your body. I'm clear about it. If you don't agree with me, I'm happy. Your opinion. But I am telling the UIM today that if the country, this republic, is going to make a law that forces you to take the jab, we will contest it with everything we've got. I'm very clear. But if you want to take it because it's a personal choice, it's your choice, it's your decision, then we will not stand against you. I am not a medical doctor. I am not a scientist. I am definitely not a biologist. I am speaking straight from me. It's my policy. Jy sal nie die mense in hierdie land forseer om die vaksien te vat nie. Why? It's personal. It's personal. We will not be forced because South Africa, what's next? What's next? Another vaccine? Another enforcement on us? No. So I want to make it very clear. We are 
personal choice. But when it comes to forcing, when it comes to saying it's now law, you will take it. We will take you on. And again, we'll vote you out. Am I clear, Crystal? Secondly, we are sitting in a position where we are now more than 500 days in lockdown, South Africa. Do you hear me? Ons in hierdie land word gijselaar gehou dier een draconiese wet wat ons nou meer as 500 daal lockdown. 500 daal. There is no country in the world and tell me if I'm wrong because according to analysis I am not where people are locked down but in different phases of lockdown. So jy krijg pak Elke dag, het is net die ding wat jy my pak gegeen word dat verander. Een strooikie, een lat, een sambok of een pijp op jou gat. Maar pak gaan jy kry. Nou hoor my, hoor my. As jy my gaan pak gee, wil ek weet hoekom. If you're gonna give me a hiding, the fair thing to do is tell me why. Now, I don't get it. We have a curfew in this country that starts at 10 at night and ends at 4 o'clock. Does this mean that COVID goes to bed? I'm not a doctor. I'm not a virologist. I am not a scientist. But when you tell us that we must be in bed by 10 o'clock, I'm just asking, when you go at curfew, police curfew, eh? When you are forced to be 10 o'clock in bed and you can only get out of bed at 4 o'clock to leave your house in the morning, is that when COVID sleeps? Okay, so what you are telling us, I'm just talking logic, not, not science. Are you telling me that between 10 o'clock at night and 4 o'clock in the morning, COVID is also dormant? And then at 4 o'clock in the morning, COVID goes morning. So, I'm sorry. It makes no sense. So why are you locking us down? So I'll tell you why you're locking us down. South Africa, there are three levels of law in this country. It's called the normal law. It's where the normal functions of parliament and law happens. Then there's the DMA Act. We call that the Disaster Management Act. And then there's something called State of Emergency. Where you start losing power in this country is when normal law, normal submission of laws that must be going through parliament and gazetted, when that's been taken away from parliament. Under the Disaster Management Act, they don't need to go to parliament to make law. They can issue law under a state of emergency, a DMA, and they can gazette it. There's no tiny cop to it, As I, Irene. You are pathetic. In you are pathetic. Because you take alcohol away, you take cigarettes away, not that I smoke. I could put time all was was springbok in a choppy. It took a claim, but I don't know what my constitution is right. But you take it away. Now what what Fatima and these other gentlemen, a great man who I know and respect for his intellect, Ricardo Martins, what they're asking is not the proof that COVID is a hoax or that COVID doesn't exist because people are dying. What they are asking is, South African government, Isn't that a, sorry, South Africa, no one's disputing. There's a killer out there. No, no one's disputing it. I know because currently my family, some of them have COVID. We are asking the South African government the verschrikking van intellecte. Can you show us? And you know what this government said? No. Wait a minute, South Africa. This government is locking us down, putting us under curfew, keeping us 500 rand under lockdown 54321. 
and they can't even scientifically assist us. They said no. Now, I'm sorry. When you tell me that, I have a problem and I can't be blamed. No, I just can't be blamed. So that is what Ricardo Martins is asking. He's saying, why are you denying to assist us? I am not saying, and I make it clear, vrachtig mense, jylle moet hoor. Jylle moet hierdie ding type. COVID is alive. But my question is, what are you doing about it, Cyril? Your own Minister of Finance resigned and ran away because he was being found guilty of this, of, of fraud. Sis, man. Sis. His man, sis. Die woord, ne? Oe, die woord is erger as, oh, <coughs> as jy vir iemand sê, sis. Oe, dis a rul, ne? Die manne weet waarvan ek praat. Sa jy, oe, oe. Sis, man, jy steel ons COVID geld. Ons maskers, ons toetse, ons sanitizer, jy steel dit. Sis, you know, I used to be so scared of my dad when my dad said to me, I'm cross with you, I could take it. But it's when your dad told you that I'm disappointed in you that it really felt bad. You weet, as your pa vir jou sê, ek squat vir jou, ek gaat vir jou neek, dis een ding. Maar as jou pa daar in die lounge sit en hy kyk vir jou en hy sê vir jou, sien, ek is teleergesteld in jou, dit is dertien keer erger. Will you agree with me? If you agree, show me some thumbs up. Show me. Disappointment. Jy wou nie gehad het jou ouders moet te leergesteld wees nie. It's sad when someone says, I'm not cross with you, I'm just disappointed. Well, here we are. Salo Ramaphosa. This country is disappointed in you. You have no backbone. You have no coconuts, kahunas, tenis balle. Well, the UIM is going to grow you some. In actual fact, the UIM is going to try and find your tennis ball. Cricket ball. President, we're going, to help to, we're going to help you find your balls, okay? Because it seems they scattered. See, Julius never had any. That's why he's got to fake it. And he never comes to a fight. Julius, ek het vir jou gewacht by Brackenfell. Waar jy? I was waiting at Brackenfell. Where were you? You sent your scollies. You are bully and you intimidate people, but you're not going to bully KZN anymore. You are not. You are not going to come to Phoenix and not be contested. We are bringing the black and white army. Did you hear me? Because like you can contravene the law, we can contravene. Minister Beki Stolki Tafaki Tele, you're doing a miserable job. I'm very curious why you weren't fired. I'm very curious, it's just a question when they did the to the skommeling, ne? To the the cabinet skommeling. To the dit gedoen het like my hulle het jou misgeskommel. Don't, I'm just saying. When, when, when the president, when he reshuffled the cabinet, I see you didn't get reshuffled. I wonder why. Hmm. That's it for the hour. Because everybody got reskommeld, except you. And as I keep skommeling gedoen het, het ek jou eerste geskommel. <laughs> Eit. Maar jy hang vast, jy bijt vast. You, 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 you like a cling on. You clinging on, Becky. I wonder why. I'm just asking. Do you know something we don't know? I, I'm asking. It's my right to ask. I'm just asking. South Africa, we are tired, man. We are tired of lies. We are tired of political parties talking absolutely rubbish, putting up the same posters, knocking on the same door and say, Nog five years. You have lied. You have conjured. You have allowed the stealing now come Jonathan, ne? Jonathan Steinhuizen, Stony, ne? Ek noem Stony Steinhuizen. Now come Jonathan, 
En al wat Jonathan doen is, blam, 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 blam. <laughs> is that an opposition? No, an opposition has guts. An opposition will walk into the street and say, I need 15,000 people Saturday because we will face them. An opposition fights. An opposition does this and shia. An opposition gets on and stops talking. Rock uh, man. Fire people. Fire. You're on. So I'm saying, South Africa, call it quits now. Two trillion stolen out of cabinet. South African law enforcement absolutely degraded. I am getting emails from people saying, there's no ammo. There's no money paid. There's no substance. There's no officers. There's nothing. Investigations. There seems to be just no justice. The UIM is going to do the following and I'll end and I'll take some questions. The UIM will do the following. We'll bring back law and order and we will put police in police. We will make sure that the minister of police of this country is a policeman. But einde kan a vangwagen rij het. We will make sure that the person running ESCOM is not a person that's pushing paper. It's a person that's an electrical engineer. A person that understands power. We'll make sure that the person heading up our medical is a bloody doctor that actually walked the beat. Sal for Sal. That the Minister of Finance can count. That hasn't stolen money yeah, and gave it back. Go do your research. We'll make sure that the person that runs a ministry in this country actually comes from that industry. Here's my statement. No BEE. It's an official policy of the UIM. Scrap BEE. He's back. Ons bring in near. Nee vir beer. Skryf het daar. Nee, n e e vir beer, e e Nee vir beer. Skryf het. Nee vir beer. No more black economic empowerment. It's now national economic empowerment. Nee. Ons sê nee vir beer. That's it. It's a policy. Vat het van my af. It's official. Did you hear me? This country doesn't need BEE anymore. It needs national economic empowerment. White and black. Because the youth of this country are wanting to open their own business. They want to be entrepreneurs, irrespective of your race, your color, your demographic. So away with BEE. Klar, that's a policy of the UIM. We will sell all of the stuff and reclaim the money that was stolen. We will take your houses. Listen to me. The asset forfeiture unit will now go under my instruction if I am the president. And we will go to every minister, every deputy minister, every DG, DDD, DDDD and DDDG. And if you've taken money, we'll take your house. We'll take your house, your car, your boat. Alles. And we will return it to the fiscus, to you, the people. That's a policy. You take, and from you will be taken. The people in jail, jylle tyd raak min vir net le en niks doen nie. A policy. Policy on inmates, custodians, you committed a crime, you will pay. The sleeping in your jail cell and talking rubbish to the world and watching TV. That's for bay. Under a UIM government, five o'clock pop, says here scoffle. You make a word. 
It's over. Nee, jylle te veel tyd om tattoos te kry. Jylle gaan werk. Because in the Bible, my Bible of God, it says, for die sweet van jou aangezicht, sal jy bladdy werk. Listen to me. Every person in jail, hoor my, when the, oh, jylle moet, bid dat ons nie raak, die staat nie, because I'm going to make you work. You will not sit in your jail, you will not check and whistle, you'll go out on chains, and you will go fix our bottles, you will scoffle our potato fields, and you'll make your own food. You don't make food, you don't eat. And you don't have rights, okay? Hierdie, hierdie absolute human rights gemors. The people in jail have more rights than the people that you sinned against. Easy. Daar gaan jy. Jy gaan werk. Prison is not a holiday camp. It's for you to understand justice, correctionality and remorse. Maar jou remors gaan jy koeie melk. Jy gaan patatas kyf. Jy gaan pottels toemaak, jy. Because you got to pay back your debt to society. Ha. Sy, ah, ah, jy gaan werk. Nou mo, sit, sit en gemors. Nee, jy gaan trom toe. En dan gaan jy werk. Ja. Jy gaan een bykie skoffel in die tuine. Jy gaan een bykie hak. Het is recht, ja. Melk kom uit die koei, jou moron. Department of Correctional Services. There's no correction. We'll correct you. Nationale dienstplig. National Service. Ja, I'm bringing it back. Nou is die mense geskok. I don't care. National Service, one year, like every democratic country, Israel, Sweden, Israel, Switzerland, the United States, you will do one year national service when you leave school. Klaar. Jy sal discipline in jou gaat kry. Everyone. No one will be exempted. You will give one year to your country. If you want to be a soldier, defense force. You want to be a policeman, police. You want to be an accountant, Department of Finance. You will do a year, because if the doctors in this country can give one year, then the country can give back that year, maar amal. That's a policy. You can must cry. The day that I put my hand up and say so, help me God. Die dag begin ons te werk. Jy sal dienstplicht doen. Because maybe if you do one year service to your country, then you can start demanding. Free education? No. You'll earn it. No free education. Jy moet werk. You don't get by demanding. It's not your right. It's a blessing. No more demand. If you do one year national service, then we might talk about then looking at your tertiary education free. If you don't do one year for every month that you skipped, it's another two semesters off your finance. That's how you do it, South Africa. Isn't that clear? Ons boere. Ons boere. What a disgrace that we don't subsidize, support and help our farmers. Dis kos. Dis kos man. I said to the people, you are not killing a farmer only, but you're killing your food. Don't you get it? Dis a bykie moeilik om een diamant te eet en een 50 rand nood so koud te slik. You can't eat money, South Africa. You eat food. The day that I become president, we will give every single farmer in this country a 20% fiscal grant per annum. The day that I become president and the United Independent takes over, we will ensure that no farmer in this country stands alone. We will make sure that every bank that borrowed, 
the people that are farming, we will stop them from having to pay a fiscal interest in three years. We will give them grants that cannot be repaid in lieu of putting their product in the world. We will subsidize the growth of a lamb, the growth of cattle, and the import and export. We will tax it. Are you hearing me? Now we're not talking about attacking the ANC. We are not talking about attacking the stupid EFF. I'm giving you the policies of the United Independent Movement for a better country, a better people, and a better nation. Where's the DA plan? Where's the ANC plan? NDP 2030. How's that working for you? If you want to import goods in this country, 15% import tax duty on things that can be manufactured in this country. South Africa first, a cracker lane. Like Kusatu that marches in the street to support South African businesses, but the t-shirts they're wearing are made in bloody China. Go away. That's it. The South Africans say you are in President Award. Hey, mom. And you need an awesome band made in China. Oh, yeah, it's a fraud fricky. So if you want to import chickens from Brazil, which is three quarters water in any case, so I don't know if you're going to make it in So I need to buy it. I'm going to hit you with 15% import tax duty because we can make chickens in this country. I've got an economic support system. We'll bring the Nell back. Because the Nell was one of the most unbelievable scientific production weapon companies in the world. And we bloody stole it empty. SAA, I want my money back. What do you mean? I want my money back. I want my money. You sold it. I want my money back. Sasso, you will be tasked and ordered to make fuel for this country and we will get a discount. We pay for Sasso, we pay for Moss Gas, we want a discount on our petrol and gas. I'm putting that levy down. You will not tax fuel in this country where the people cannot live. But it's dumb. You just put tax. We are one of the most expensive petrol supplying entities in the world. Sakhat. I'm cutting it by half. Ka. No more etol. There's enough money in the budget if you stop stealing. 30 rand to pensioners? No. We will double the pension grant to the people in this country because our pensioners, our senior citizens deserve it. They work for it, they lived for it. And you give them 30 rand a month. Cease. Cease. That's how you reward them? No, sir. These are the policies of the UIM and we will put them out. Kusatu. And every other union in this country, go to hell. Did you hear me? The only reason unions in this country exist is to put money in their own pocket. I'm sorry if I sound like Margaret Thatcher. But the unions are killing this country's industry and they are so stupid, they don't understand it. So unions... Get ready. When I am president, we are renegotiating. I don't care if you burn. Axel for yellow neck. Because you have not a clue what it takes to run a business in this country. Yay. Yeah, but we want... Yay, for Takma. We pay the bill. We pay the tax. I understand there must be a living income. But so must the owner of a factory and the farmer... And the person that absolutely currently is getting no major support 
from government to survive this period of the pandemic. Ridiculous. Variance cease. So South Africa, when we become government, things are changing. I'm cancelling every bilateral agreement with China. With a, I'm cancelling it. Where are you, Kijk hier. Cancelled. Kijk, kom, kom in ons water en vang ons vis. Jy gaat op jou moer kry, hoor jy. Chris Jong, generaal Chris Jong het gesê, ek kan sê moer, want dit beteken die oorblijfsels van koffiepitte in die ou angloboere oor. So jou moer. I'm cancelling it. Maar hoor gauw vir my, as jy in my waters inkom en jy vat my vis, dan gaat ek jou skiet met die torpedo, want ons het nog een halve duikboot oor. Hou gauw aan. Ek wil net gauw my moer drink. Mm. Dis een moer, sy lekker moer koffie. Luister vir my. Hoor my. Ons gaan vir jou skiet as jy in ons water som kom. Ons gaan vir jou so torpedo, jy gaan dink jy is op die Titanic. Het jy my mooi gehoor? Het jy my gehoor? Jy kom nie in my water en trek my hardes nie. Hier in die weeskap, as jy my snoek en my hardes, ons steek mes in die weeskap. Ons gaat vir jou steek. Hier, in die kap, zij, ons vat die nonsens in my broek, hier steek ons mes. Jy wat op die boeikies in die aand inkom, mm, ons gaat vir jou lem. Jy gaan nie. Maar kom en sit met ons en sê, ha, we want fair trade. South Africa first. So I will allow you to come and catch fish here, but you will package, you will pack, and you will open factories in my country. Yes, my country. UIM country. Doesn't UIM country sound great? Not the new world order. Return to the old world order. Old world order. Owa. Owa. Ons gaan nou owa, ne? Ons soek die ou goed terug, man. Maar met respect. Law. So open us. Open factories for our people and you can share our fish. South Africa, this is not difficult, eh? I'm not telling you anything new. I'm just bringing in something that you all believe in. And that is what we stood for. Black and white. Indian, Chinese, South Africans. But South Africa first, did you hear me? If you are in this country and you are from Congo, um, way hell, help me. Mozambique, Nigeria, and you are in my country and you don't have a permit. Here you can so you can play in my land. Yes, What do you mean? I'm deporting you. I'm going to take buses en trains, en valskerms, en luchtballonne, maar jy gaan terug huis toe, bye bye, bye bye, kijk jy so, bye bye, jy moet gaan apas so, allo, allo, allee, allee, voetsak huis toe, hierdie koffie maak een mens heel mal, jo, moer, dit is een moerse koffie, luister gaan vir my, wat soek jy in my land, ha, You are in this country on the grace of God and you are a guest. Hoor gaan gij so? Guest. Maar as jy in hierdie land rond neek and you don't have, kijk gaan gij so, permit. Dan gaan ek jou op een trok laai en jy is uit. You don't like that? Oh, I don't care. Jy soek nie hier by my gemors nie. The UIM government, we are deporting you. Depot, en ek sal vliegtuie gaan re... Waar is al ons vlossies, man? I'm going to expel, export, exonerate and kick you out of the country. I'm sorry, it's not xenophobia. It's just SA first. Now the people are cross with me. I don't care, I'm your president. They must either contribute to the economy, they must work, they must pay tax, or they must go home. Ons het ons eie probleme, ek het nie nog ander mensense probleme nodig nie. Jy het dies, it is a law, no permit, 
No asylum. Hij stoe met jou. South Africa have their own problems. We are trying to feed our own. We are trying to create jobs for our own. We don't have space for people that are here for a free ride. Nou gaan klaar my aan by die Human Rights Commission, maar vraag vir die Human Rights Commission eerst dit, waar was hulle by die Marikana? Waar was hulle by Phoenix? En dan kom neke met my. I'm sorry, Human Rights is starting to become hopelessly rubbish. Nou die boere, die Afrikaners, hoor my mooi, a bakkie, a bakkie, is een ding wat een hond uit eet. Ordentelike mense rui een voortranger. Sorry. Kijk, een bykie komie. Komies. Ek was in veldrift eergister en toe kom ek daar toe sê ek vir die oom, oom, mooi bakkie, hy sê sien. Een bakkie is een ding wat een hond uit eet. Hierdie is een voortranger. Oom Rudolf, love you. South Africa, we can laugh a little bit. Our country is a little bit too serious. But I love you. But they are just 12 policies I spoke to you about right now. 12. These 12 are the policies of a, of a government that you need. These policies against all draconian law against lawlessness is what the UIM stands for. And as jy nog nooit duidelik was, oor waan staan jy, ek het nou net 12 planne vir jylle gegeen. Ons vat ons ekonomie terug. Ons maak die vlag. Ons maak dit ons vlag, man. Ons bring wet in orde. Nou gaan ek seker gesê word, ek is a Donald Trump. Ek voel vere dan maak my die Suid-Afrikaanse Donald Trump, maar ek is nie, ek is die Suid-Afrikaanse Neil de Beer. If you want me to build a bloody wall, I'm gonna build it. Hoor gegaan vir my, die eerste ding wat ek gaan doen as ek president is, onthou, so help my God, dan gaan ek na ons grense toe, ons gaan het bewapen. Dit jy my mooi gehoor? Policy number 13. We will protect, defend, the borders of the Republic of South Africa with force, if necessary. Ja, we are a sovereign republic. Nou kom jy en dan sluip jy in die aand oor ons grens. Dan vang ons jou en ons stuur jou terug en morgen aand sluip jy weer oor die grens. Try onder a UIM government om te sluip oor ons grens. Dan gaat ons jou neek en as jy weg hard loop, kapel om. Jy my mooi gehoor. We will defend our borders. Because we have none. Nee, ons het nie. Dit is soos om jelly te vreet, wat nou nou pap raak. Jy hou in die jelly, kom wabbel wabbel, en dan raak het mos my van raak. Oei, ons het nie meer grens nie. Ons het jelly. As jy oor my grens kom, bars jy. Now it's time. South Africa. It's time. It is tight. Is there anything that I am saying to you that is not justice, that's not palatable? Protecting our borders. How can you say no? Bringing back law and order. How can you say no? Making the people that took rights away from people pay. Pay by hard labor. How can you say no? Paying our pensioners a living wage. Bringing professional people back into the job so that we can be professional. Creating a new economy where we invest in South African businesses before we import. How can you say no? Keeping councillors accountable and if they not, fire them. How can you say no? Making people in this country that come out of school to give one year of their massive life where some of us gave two, three and are still giving it so that they can understand what it means to be a citizen. How can you say no? Making the prisoners work for their food while they took hours away. How can you say no? Removing 400 people out of parliament that are so fat and lazy and that have the audacity to come back 
and ask for another five years. Fire them. How can you say no? Facing an enemy of the people, not the state, because the state is denying that the EFF is an enemy. That's why I'm calling them an enemy of the people, of the normal people. I am saying it. The EFF has become the enemy of people in this country that want to have peace, that want to have freedom. How can you say no? Wanting to appoint a doctor in a hospital? <gasps> Amazing. How can you say no? Bringing a president back in this country that does not see color. Bringing a president back in this country that bows and kneels in front of God. How can you say no? Bringing a president back in this country that at least knows seven languages and has been staying overseas for seven years in a fiscal surrounding to bring money and business back to this country. Investment. How can you say no? South Africa, stop saying no. It doesn't matter where I come from. Jullie moet open met die vraag. Jullie het my nou hier. I have left. I have left this government. I have left everything to fight now. My conscience is clear. I've made mistakes. I've probably made the worst decisions in my life, but I don't ever endorse vulgarity. I do not attack those that have attacked me and I don't have vengeance. I speak to my previous enemies and I have now formed coalitions with many of the people of the right and the left so that we can bring them into the middle. I will say it again and I will repeat it only one more time. My name is Neil De Beer. I'm the president of the United Independent Movement. Ek is a boer by heart. Ek is a Afrikaner in kultuur. Maar ek is een Afrikaner in my siel. Ek is mal oor my taal. Ek is mal oor my kultuur. Ek het het weer teruggekry. Ek het het vir baie jare. Het ek dit gemis. Ek sê dit op rekord. Die probleem in hierdie land is nie die rechts is nie. Dit is die rassiste. Ek wil het baie keer toe hulle my getyp het. En hulle my skelm probeer onderhou. En toe speel hulle waar ek sê ek is gatvol vir die wit is het hulle daai type afgesnyd, ek sê dit weer, hulle het my lelik nagekom. Want wat op daai type gestaan het, was baie simpel, ek het gesê, ek is klaar met die blanke rassiste en die linkse swart rassiste in die land. Dit is die feit, ek het daai type, maar hulle het my probeer diskrediteer. Want hulle was bang dat ons by mekaar gaan kom. You are right to many of those that said, my story is like a Moses. I was quite um, taken aback because it's too much. But remember, Moses was not an Egyptian. Moses was an Israeli. But he grew up in the Egyptian king's house. So when it was time to lead and take them back, he knew the strategy of the Egyptians. My story is the same. I grew up. I'm one of you. Yes, I stood in the ANC for more than 30 years as a member. I never worked for the ANC. I voted for them. I know them. Ek weet hulle tricks. So South Africa, no matter what side you are standing on, I'm an asset. I'm not your enemy. The difference is I'm not scared because I have God. And I have you. We are currently 1.8 thousand, 1,800 people live on this. This is glory to God. Give us some hearts, man. Give us some, give us, give us this. We stood strong with you. We promised you would be a party. It cost us so much. And it still is. It's costing us our own money. It's costing us our own time. We need you. But we became that party because I promised you we would. I promised you that we will bring a country that sees no color, no creed, no race, and that we will work in the light of God. We did so. I promised you that we won't lie. We did so. I promised you that we will keep on attacking those that are in the dark. We are doing so. 
I promised you an alternative to the DA, to the Freedom Front, to all those that have dropped you as a voice. I promised you we'll create a united South Africa. We are doing so. I told you that we will speak to black, Indian, white, colored, Khoisan. I did so. I promised you that I will never lie to you, even if it causes me heartbreak. I promised you I will never lie to you, even if it causes me damage. I am doing so. But now South Africa, the United Independent Movement Party, this newborn baby, needs you to give it milk. It needs to get out of the incubator. Ons kan nie meer in a seestof tank leven nie. Jy moet vir ons help. In die volgende drie dae, het ek my hele nationale bestuur vir die werkskomitee kap toe gevra en hulle kom morgen. Hierdie besluite wat ek vir jy gegeet het, hierdie besluite, hierdie kritische besluite, gaan ons op skrif sit. It will become our manifesto. South Africa, we would like to launch the UIM. We need your financial support. We need to raise that, that money. On Friday, this Friday, Brett and his team will be waiting a critical decision. And that is if the Constitutional Court will accept to either enforce that the municipal elections must be on the 27th of October or if it will be postponed until next year. South Africa, we have decided, and you can see the stats, that we are more than 40% volunteers that want to change this country at every municipality. For that, we need posters. For that, we need to brand ourselves that we can out-brand, out-class, out-number all the other political parties. We have estimated that the total money to take us to next year and to continually run this party is approximately a total of 6 million rand. That is different than a certain party in the Western Cape that will be spending 50 million just in the current local elections. To keep this party now moving, equipped, we have worked out that we need 6 million rand over the next 12 months. South Africa ons moet 6 million rand in die volgende 12 maanden by mekaar sit. Ons het nie een kees nie, ons is nou een politieke partij. I have now noticed that another opposing political party, their budget at this current moment is 3.5 million a month. We are not asking for 3.5 million a month. We are asking 6 million rand over a period of 12 months because we can do with less, but we can do more because we don't steal and we don't buy votes. We need to raise that money. I'm asking you that we do that. One for 6 million rand for a political party, a ouwe dit geskryf van a check for a dag for a blow party. Because I know that God will provide through you. We are going on that mission now. We will fight you in the street. We will fight you on the corner. We'll fight you in the house. We'll fight you in the farm. We'll fight you on the hill. And we will fight you in our community. But for that, it doesn't help that I have guns, but I have no bullets. I'm making it clear guns in this regard is to fund the UIM, its staff, its volunteers, its brands, its meetings, its flights. I need you now. If six million rand is too much, how much do you think we will lose another two trillion? I know what we've got now in the UIM. If you can see the emails of invites to come to Limpopo, Mapumalanga, Mensak with Flieg, that costs elke keer 4,500 rand. I can't fund it anymore. Now get up and help us. Help us. Because if we don't, what will be left in 2024? To the people that are sitting in New Zealand, Australia, London, Dubai, you are not expats. Damn it, man, you are South Africans. Help us. 
in 2024 for the first time, your votes will count. You can't sit overseas as South Africans and just let us die. Yeah, you left because you wanted a better life. You wanted to do, we, we support you there. We want you not to be expats. We want you to be ambassadors. If you are in Australia, wake them up. If you are in New Zealand, mark a vakar. If you are in London, rise. Get your people together under the UIM. We need your money. We need your support. We need your love. You are not ex-South Africans. You are people, man. You are South Africans. The only difference is here we have to raise six million rand to survive a year. It's 63. If you look at it, it's $63,000. It's not even 40,000 pounds. Here it's six million rand. If you've got family overseas, if you've got South Africans overseas, I want you to talk to them, you, the 1.6 thousand people. I want you to phone them, email them and tell them we need help. Because for the first time, in God's name, 2024, their vote will count to remove this government. Canada, you are right. Austria, Australia, come South Africans. Let's rise. We need one 0.9 million votes, then we kick the EFF out of government, out of parliament to a lower level, and then we remove them. South Africa, can you tell me that we can't get two to three million people together that believe in what I told you? Then I will give up hope. But we're not. Look at you. We love you. If you can't give money, volunteer. We're about to go to party. We have 8,000 members. We are going to ask you to change to party and contribute. We are now a party and we are going to fight. Greg, I'm sorry, your math is wrong. I'm not a mathematician, Greg. I'm a leader. But I don't care if I can count or can't count. What I can is I can count body count. And the bodies are piling up in this country. My apology for my mess is wrong. But at this moment, I'm not fixated on forex. I'm fixated on the children that will die today. I can count those. So with due respect, if it's 4,000 pounds, 40,000 pounds or 400, I'm not that. I'm a leader of a country that needs change. So help me. Let's not be pedantic. At least I'm out there in the fight. I want to thank you again. Wow. This is probably the biggest, highest amount of people we've had on a life. And it's been constant. South Africa, it's time for change. The only way that you get on top of Everest is if you climb it. But if you take a chopper to the top, it's not like climbing it. Let's put our flag on Everest. And if 27 October is so, then we fight. I have enough soldiers here that will take them on. We have 247 soldiers that are about to go into battle. I am the general. I need funds. I need ammo. Do you get it? We're about to go to battle. But I have nothing. We will not make the end of the month's budget again. This cannot be. We have to go now, South Africa. We've got to go fight. Because on Friday, they either tell us we are going to battle on the 27th of October or they tell us that we've got another four months. I support that because then we can get more ammo. We can get more soldiers. This is a battle, South Africa. I'm commanding this like a battlefield. We have currently 690 areas to fight. And out of the 690, God's grace gave us 247 soldiers. Think about it. We were only supposed to have 172. We've got 247 and it's growing. How do you want me to send 247 ward 
counselors that are volunteering to go into the fight without funds, without posters, without t-shirts. How do we do it? We need you. It's a battle. No general sends his soldiers into the ground without water, food or ammunition. Come now. Arm us. Give us the arms to fight. I've created the army. We have put the army together. Now we must go train them in South Africa. I need to go to every province and get our ward councillors, our soldiers together and tell them about the policies I've just spoken to about. It costs money. I don't get it. No one's helping us. And the reason why, and that's why the, the, the talk today was they're trying to stop us. The only way that they can stop us now is if they cut our money off. The rest, it's too late. We're in the kitchen. We are there. Help us to enforce these policies. Help us to go to every province, every city and spread the word. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work day and night for you. I'm willing to drive, fly, crawl to every single area to spread the news. But I need you. You know what is the saddest? Our biggest contributors are the people that are on Sasa. <laughs> if you look at the people giving 100, giving 50, 20, it's actually people that's on pension. South Africa, where's our businesses? Eh? Where's our business leaders? Where's the big companies, the big corporates? You guys gave money to the other parties to protect and defend you. How's that going? Eh? Look at Durban. Durban burned to the ground. There are no businesses. In Phoenix, 126 factories burned to the ground. They will not open in the next two years. If you want to protect that funder party that will kick their butt, that will physically put people on the ground to defend it. But we need you. Don't wait for the burn. I have now dedicated the next eight years of my life. Yes, I have. I have decided to stand down from all my businesses. I will dedicate the next eight years, if you want me to, to sit here and fight. Three years for elections and five years to govern. That's eight years of my life. I had dreams, eh? I had business dreams. I had family dreams. It's over for Neil De Beer. We are now in the fight. South Africa, I'll give eight years. Eight years of fight. Eight, uh, eight years of cross and sad and disappointment, but I am giving you eight years now of my life. I dedicate it today. I will fight for you for eight years, but I'm not going to do this alone. By the time that it is eight years, I will be 62 years old. I'm still young. <laughs> I know I don't look at <laughs> going to politics. This is aging. Eh? Even Jock is getting gray. And he's a beautiful person. I mean, Jock is going totally gray. Don't tell him. Let's keep it between us. Because politics takes a toll. Politics is not easy. But we are willing to fight for you, for the UIM to go into government and fight. If 247 people goes into council and government, wow, we will be big. And it's you that's got to put us there. Eight years. I'll give you eight. Lavelle, only eight. <laughs> South Africa, thank you. It's been an emotional ride. But how can you not be emotional about your country? Um, so we need you. We'll put up our banking details. Um, I see my people have been punting. If you want to donate, if you're a company, corporates, we need, we need your help. Um, speak to us. We are currently waiting for the system to move the more than 8,000 uh, members of the movement 
onto membership of a party. Um, but we need to get our budgets done. So six million is the total. We need to start raising it. Please help us. Otherwise, there's nothing left. Um, I'm just going to quickly, I've taken so much time. Uh, is there any questions to me? Anybody that just quickly wants to post a question? We are on YouTube, more than 8,000 subscribers. Uh, so if you want to go there, it's uh, Neil De Beer YouTube. Uh, I know there's new members. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that you're not clear and not understanding. But just go look at our videos. Go look at my live posts. We are getting, on average at the moment, 1.2 million views per live session. 1.2 million. There's not many companies that do that. Um, on a personal note, as a 60-year-old still working, I was feeling very down, but you have uplifted me. Anna. Ach, ons ouwens oor 50 is jonk. <laughs> Thank you for that message. I appreciate that. Uh, Isabel, aren't you afraid of your life? Um, Isabel, I, I don't fear for my life because I'm under God's protection. Um, I've made up my life with my maker. Uh, just to tell everybody, on the 27th, of August last year, I gave my life to God. And uh, we are nearly on the 27th of August this year. So it will be a year that I have stood in God in Christ. And I've, I've stood strong. And I'm happy to be a, a son of God. So on the 28th, celebrating one year. Um, it's fantastic. So yeah, I don't fear for my life. Uh, because um, God has given me anointment. But thank you for that. We look after ourselves. Uh, Margaret, thank you. Sasa, unbelievable. Christu, we will stand by you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Christu Slabert Eister, thank you. Marinda, I am trying to be a man of integrity in politics in this country. It's difficult, but I will never change. Dirk, Neil, uh, as ons in 1992 a referendum gehad het, hoe kom dit nie nou nie? Dirk, jy is eindelijk reg? Uh, ons is bezig daarmee. Ek en Fatima, my vice-president, morgen en vrijdag is ek en Fatima saam met ons werkgroep. One of the points is a referendum. You are very right, Dirk. We'll keep you updated. Judy, thank you. Uh, you guys are just wonderful. Judy, Vanessa, Sher, Lorna, the Tigresses, Cindy. I've got the most greatest women um, that work with us. They are the UIM. So all those, thank you. Um, Christu, is your spend and sponsors on public record? Um, Christu, the, 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 the law on, on um, political parties declaration is any amount under 100,000 rand must be publicly declared. So any amount under that is party protect, but anything over that. So um, it, but our donation, if you give us money on the banking details, we, we have a clear record for anybody that wants to check. We've got three entities now. Our CEO next week will update that. We have a party structure because we are now a political party. We have an NPC, which is uh, a non-profit, and we are currently waiting for our a, um, 18A certificate, which means that if people donate money to us, they can claim that on tax. And then we have registered a corporate entity, a company, um, that we are currently doing. But do you know our donations are being spent? Absolutely. Um, we have, in actual fact, one of the best accounting records here. Um, it's easy. We don't get much money. <laughs> so, obviously, our accounting entity, we are open. We are leading a political entity that's fighting corruption. So, we've got to lead by example. It's as simple as that. Um, Munib, I'm getting off Sasa. Munib, uh, I'm talking to you today. I need you in the Western Clay uh, so that you can stand. Um, Mary, thank you for your prayer. Lyndon, please don't forget our public trial system. It's in disarray. You know when the minister, Feki um, Fakile Fekiki, when he sits on a public train in Paul and he says, but the train doesn't work, <laughs> you idiot. You're the minister of transport. Can you believe it? There's a video clip where Fakile Fiki Mbalula is sitting on a train. The train stops and he says, but the trains don't work. Ha ah, you're the Minister of Transport. <laughs> Fired. And the standard come all the standards. That's it. Bring them all together. Great standards. And he's a man. 
Marcus Neil, I sent a message via WhatsApp, waiting response, how it can be. Marcus, can I ask you, uh, I will ask my people right now, can I ask you apology? We, we, I have 7,792 emails. Can I ask you, I apologize. Can you send me urgently and put there Neil De Beer Marcus to info at uimsa.org? I will answer you today. Um, uh, we need your help in the UK. Absolutely, we do. Um, Ingrid, please come to Lanasia. Uh, Ingrid, we are coming to Gauteng. As I said, we just need more funding. But Lanasia, like Chatsworth, like Phoenix, it's our place. So we will like to come invite us. We will be there. Dion, in one year, we have done this. Imagine what we can do in three. Absolutely, Dion. Amen. Alan, <laughs> eight years is long, but I can't predict. I just, we need to get in now. <laughs> so um, we'll get there. Gideon, Eister. Uh, Gideon, ons kom krees daar toe. Uh, you're just an amazing guy. So we are on our way. Uh, we'll be there soon. Guys, I need to now just uh, sign off. Uh, Audrey, celebrate my birthday on 28 August. Uh, it's my birth in God. So we'll be celebrating one year. You'll be uh, doing the same. Uh, Patricia, I'm 80. Thank you. Patricia is 80 years old. Patricia, you're a stunning citizen of our country. Thank you so much. God bless you, by the way. Give us another 40 and I'll be with you. Um, Joshua, thank you. We will lead this country because we have faith. Uh, Joan, is it Joanne, Mattia, when will you come to Plet Love Plet? Eh? So send us info at UIMSA. I'm there. Um, Chantel, you have a forbeeld. Duisend. Thank you, Chantel. And you work, Chantel Nagel. Stand by us, ne? Anna, I will you again. Thank you. Anna de Silva. Isabel, what happens after 2024 if the ANC still rules? Are we finished? No, we are not. Isabel, we will never give up. We are going into parliament. Be it government, be it opposition, or be it the voice of light. We will never surrender. Never, ever. We will never surrender. Valerie, have great respect. Thank you. And the respect is back to you. Salom. Salomi. Praise God. Brenda, I lost hope, but you am gives it back and it gives me back when I get message to this. Um, Ronel, I love you too. Eugene Ru, Yambonga, Kakulu, thank you. Aita. That's it, Eugene. Absolutely. See you later, Tati. Johan, ons moet kyk. Neil, gaan jylle by die doofis ook, ja, ons moet kyk. We need to, you know, we don't have disabled people in this country. We have people that just have other abilities. South Africa, if we don't look after the people that have certain restrictions on abilities, but other abilities, then we are also wrong. The disabled people of this country are not disabled. They are just enabled in other ways. So the disabled people of this country need to be told you are not disabled. You can and are able to do so much. So we cannot write off the people with disabilities in this country. The government of this country don't care about the people that are in wheelchairs. They don't care about the people that have got restriction on abilities. How can we not love our citizens that are currently sitting and don't have care? Just because you are not able to walk, that you are not able to see, that you are not able to hear, that you are not able to speak, does not make you different than me. The UIM loves our people with different abilities. That's our code. Eh? And we will bring out a policy that will enable the people that are so-called disabled to live a normal life in state. That there's access for wheelchairs in every single place that needs to give public access and bring out a bylaw that says that at municipalities and local government, you will put special areas for people that have different abilities. That's not negotiable. And if you park on an area that is supposed to be for a person that has different ability, we'll remove your car. In actual fact, I'd like to crush it. So I would like you to do me a favor. Every time that you park at a parking lot 
and you see a person who clearly is not disabled and parks in a disabled area when he gets outside. Miracle! It's a miracle! Yeah. Disgrace them. Because we have to protect our people with disabilities. It's a sensitive issue. It's our people, man. I want special areas in government for our people that are pensioners, that are people that are senior citizens. We will take better care of you. We love you. You are our grandmother, our grandfather, our auntie and our uncle. We love you. If you are over the age where you are now seen, not as a pensioner, not as a person that's old, we love you, man. You lived in this country for years. Eh? You built this country. We need to pay you back. And how do we do that? Well, we love you. So we will take care of that. You are in policy again. And that's about it. South Africa, I've got to go. I'm apparently uh, heading for an NEC meeting. Uh, every single Wednesday, our National Executive Council meets. Uh, sorry, buy a donkey. Again, the people on Sasa giving more than what they can. You will remember in the Bible, there was an, a lady, an old lady that gave one shekel. And the people laughed at her and they said, is that all you can give? And the word from God was clear. To her, this is the world's money. So sorry, when you give us 80 rand a month out of a Sasa grant, that's nothing. You remind me of that story in the Bible. Thank you very much. Thank you. South Africa, thank you. Um, Garnet, I'm 63 years old. With your party, I know the future, absolutely, for your grandkids, for mine. With us, Whitey Johnson, come on, stop by Patek, it's by you. Oh, Masin, Answeet, Ungong, don't change, please. So far, you are going good. Sia Bolela, Masin, yeah. Sia Bolela, Ntate. Ikaya, Ungong, apa e email info at UOM, Ikaya, of Funangam, no teta, ne? Sia Bolela, Masin, yeah, ne? Aluta. Mari niele kan die jab vat nie. Dit is jou kese, Marty. Wat ek en Fatima sê, is baie simpel. As jy nie wil gejab word nie, dis jou kese. Geen staat gaan jou forceer nie, hoor. Cyril will corporal punishment be back at school. Cyril, we have to debate that. But you know what? Uh, ek weet nie, jylle moet my gauw help. Daar was Afrikaanse seggenskap wat sê, spari lat. Ek weet nie, daar was iets wat ek onthou net. As jy die lap, as jy die lat spaar, dan so iets, dan kom maar ondiscipline, maar anyway, ek het net geweet, you gotta beat them or they gonna die. <laughs> Dis een ou wat in Amerika opgestaan het, they asked the preacher, um, what do you think about punishing your children and giving them a hiding? And die ou toppie kyk so, hy is 83, and hy sê, well, in my home you gotta beat them or they're going to do things that's gonna make them die. Nou ek is pakke gee in my daar, ek het die lat het ek gevrees, uh, I think like anything else, we have to debate matters. But before we start doing corporal punishment and that, don't you think we should maybe look after the breaking up of our homes first? Gender-based violence is unacceptable. Many of our homes don't have dads, and that's where I think the problem lies. We need to go back and have a home. And maybe we need to bring God back everywhere. That's maybe a better idea. The rectification of a worse idea is a better idea. The UIM is that. South Africa, thank you very much. I know we can speak the whole day. Uh, you know, I'm here with my family. I'm with you. Thank you very much for everything that you uh, have done for me, that you have done for the United Independent Movement Party. Party. Let's get our money right, let's get our funding right, let's get our volunteers right, let's get our structure right, let's able to travel the country, and let's come talk to you. May I ask today that God blesses this Republic of South Africa, that God brings out the massive sign of peace and unity, that no matter whom we are, we can sit together and create a better world. Mag ek vraag dat God se reikste sien oor hierdie republiek van Zuid-Afrika kan skyn, dat sy held en sy hand die geweld van hierdie land kan temmer 
en dat hij vrede kan brengen in ons hart, dat ons weet dat die toekomst is maar toch in zijn handen. Ik zeg weer eens, ik is bereid om met enige persoon, enige groep, enige natie te ontmoet. Maar die conditie is simpel. Een, moet niet liggen. Nie. Twee, staan voor Zuid-Afrika. En drie, ik zoek jou niet bij mijn tafel als jij samen die IFF of die ANC kabaal is. Het is zo so simpel als dit. Respect, eer, vertrouwen is belangrijk. Ik breek niet mijn niet. Ik ga nooit veranderen. Nie. I'm not going to change. All I can tell you is my staff tell me in 2024 it's going to be the fun, hardworking, unbelievable presidency that you have ever seen. In elke vrijdag kan die mensen maar bij Tijnhuis kom braai. <laughs> South Africa, God bless you. Look after yourself. I look forward to speaking to you next week, Wednesday, 9 o'clock. Um, you are my hope. You are my love. You are what I live for. And I'm guided by God. So thank you very much. Kijk naar jylle self, lief jylle. Remember, South Africa first. But in God's leadership, always number one.